Have you ever uploaded a document to SharePoint and then had to manually email someone or call them to let them know you've added a document to the folder? Well, thanks to Power Automate and its integrations, it's never been easier to automate this process so you can spend your time doing other things. For this automation, you'll need Microsoft Teams, access to Power Automate, and access to Microsoft SharePoint. To start this automation, you'll first need to open Microsoft SharePoint on your web browser. On the left hand side, you'll see the menu. Click on the menu and then you'll see your applications. Click on Power Automate if you've used it before. If Power Automate isn't there, click on Apps, search for Power Automate by browsing under the Productivity section and find it there. Click on the application to continue. Now we've opened up Power Automate, you'll be able to find a button called Create Flow. We then need to find Automated Cloud Flow. Let's give the flow a name. Um, I would call it Send an email to Emma when the file is uploaded to Martin Binance folder on SharePoint. Um, I recommend being as descriptive as possible just in case you make quite a few of these. It can be easy to distinguish then. Once we've given our flow a name, click on choose your flows trigger and search for when a file is created, properties only, then press create. So now you've got to set up the site address, library, um, folder you would like the automation to work for and press new step. Search for send email and select send email v2. Add an email address to the person you'd like to send it to, or multiple people you'd like to send it to. Add a subject line, add your body test, and then you can add dynamic content. As you can see on screen, I like to add the file name and a link to the folder for easy access. There is a list of dynamic content for you to add to personalize your email. Feel free to play around with those to find your ideal setup. You can then click show advanced options in these options you'll be able to change the importance of the email copy someone onto these emails and so press save when you're ready we'll now test the flow so open up the sharepoint folder add in the document and that should be it emma has forwarded the email on so this is the email she received once we uploaded the document